My name is Linda Walsh and I'm a representative of the Phoenix Contemporary Textiles Group. We're a group of 11 artists, uh, all have a common interest in textiles, fabric, paper, paint, stitch, all kinds of things. We try to bring together an exhibition which shows all those individual talents but also makes a cohesive whole. So we spend a lot of time initially debating what we might have as a theme and we exhibit usually every other year. Um, and this year's theme is Seen Unseen, which is then interpreted by each person in a completely different way. I happen to have interpreted mine as graffiti, which is seen by everybody, often disliked by many, but you don't see the person who draws it. Maria's work also uses text, but she has been obsessed in the last year and a half with political sound bites. She writes uh, layers of text, one on the other, so that you can't actually read it. But I'm sure somewhere in there you'll find wash your hands and stay at home. And thinking about what is truth these days and whether anything is real or truthful. Joan has interpreted her scene unseen by looking at mindfulness. And she does practice Tai Chi herself and how the movements which you might see are hidden in what's happening in your brain and the calming effect that it might have. Lynn's work started with a photograph of the shard, the top hidden in the clouds, the bottom hidden in the city. Only a small part could be seen and she's interpreted that and thought about somebody, maybe a knight in armour, maybe an artist, being lost and hidden within the city. Joan is very interested in birds and her work here is looking at the seen and unseen dangers to birds, the human element and pylons and so on and all sorts of things which are affecting the um, biodiversity of birds and animals. Joe's interpretation is looking at wastelands and hidden edges. I think initially she was looking at things on the coast in Kent, old war um, installations and groins, the rust and things that are left behind from things that we haven't seen and how the, they are taken over by plant life, lichen and plants growing through the cracks. Kate's work is um, concerned with plants and flowers. She loves uh, nature in all its guises and is interested in the fact that, you know, these plants produce seeds which we can barely see, drop in the ground, and the whole saga begins again and there's the continuous um, nature and growing. Roberta's work is concerned with things a bit like Joe's that we can see but we don't know what they were for originally. So she is looking at um, corn circles here, holes in the ground where corn was dried in the past many, many years ago. Rosaline's work along here, she has thought about things in our head that are seen and unseen, the memories that we all have, and glimpses from the past that are played over and over in your brain. But when you go back to a place, maybe it's not quite as you remembered it. And it's um, what is real and in your imagination. Marie Jelen's work. Marie Jelen is uh, very involved with textiles and loves fabric and looking at how you can create spaces with fabric and within woven fabric and what you might see in the spaces in between, which is also similar to Alison's theme here, looking at the spaces in between. She creates these structures with fabric and thread and when you look through them, you get all sorts of different patterns appearing. So what you can see is, is sort of hidden and you get interference effects between the lines and the patterns and worry kind of effect.